Hi, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on um, one of the features that we've got within our hybrid backup sync 3 software or HBS3 as I'll refer to it. Um, so this software allows you to do data deduplication within a backup job. Um, so some of our NAS, especially the more advanced NAS that run QUTS Hero, um, they have data deduplication built right in at the file system level, so all data can be deduplicated if you need it. Um, whereas with QTS, um, the only option to do it would be with our um, backup jobs using HBS3. Um, so the idea behind um, data deduplication is simply you've got lots of data stored on your NAS, um, if you were to do, um, let's say, a backup of data uh, from one NAS to another NAS um, without data deduplication, it's just going to make a one-to-one -one copy. If you've got multiple copies of the same thing on the first NAS, it's going to put them on the second NAS. Um, if you use QDedupe, it's going to analyze what's on your first NAS, and it's only going to send the unique things across. So it will send one copy of one of the duplicated files, and the rest will just be references back to that one copy. So um, it can save uh, transfer speeds, uh, transfer times, especially if doing remote backups um, and your internet connection is not that great. Um, with QDedupe, it's going to reduce the amount of data that needs to be sent, therefore giving the impression of a faster backup. Um, so your first backup is going to really do a good job of taking just the initial files. Uh, when you do second backups, um, it's really going to take um, less time to do it. Sometimes it may not need to send the data. So if, say, another user of the NAS stores the same file in the NAS that somebody else already did, um, the backup just doesn't have to send it because it's already on the backup job. So it's a really cool feature. Um, so to enable that, I've got a NAS over here set up with a job. Um, so when you're creating a backup job and you go through all the pairing of folders, so I've just got a setup here back, backing up to itself, not, not what I'd recommend, but just for the demo, that's how I've got it. Um, over here in the rules section, um, under methods, you've got an option for QDedupe. Now I've already selected it, so it's grayed out now. Once it's on, it can't be turned off within the job. You'd have to delete the job and create a new one. Um, but here I've got QDedupe enabled. Um, so it's got the data ticked, uh, gives you a little bit of advice down there not to do it for multimedia files. Um, main reason is multimedia files, even if you've got two images of the same thing taken a millisecond apart, uh, they would still be seen as separate images, so it wouldn't uh, remove the duplication. Um, but it's going to take a look at them and send the backup job. Now when it stores the backup job, um, it's going to store it in a format um, called QDFF. Um, so here I'm looking at it on my computer, just in my finder window here. If I was to open up backup1.qdff, um, it's not really going to look like the folder that I backed up. So if I show you what the folder I backed up looks like, uh, it's just a, a folder full of sort of pictures of animals or something, demo data. So if here if I go into the uh, the animal pics, it's just a lot of folders with different pictures and animals in it. Um, but that's what um, I was backing up. That's the data I was backing up. Um, and when I go to uh, have a look at the, uh, the finder window here and browse through it, it doesn't look like that at all. Um, now, if there was ever an instance where you needed to look into this data um, on your computer, like I'm trying to do here rather than from the NAS, um, from the NAS I'm able to look at the data. So if I was to go into the Q, uh, QDG backup folder and go inside it, um, it's I'm able to extract it if I want. So I can right click on it. Um, and I can choose to restore this with HBS, mount the folder so that it's in a state that I can view it. So the NAS has the software to do that. Um, but on the uh, on the computer here, whether it's Mac, Windows, um, it's not going to be able to look at it. Um, but what we have is we have an extract tool. Uh, so we've got the QDG extract tool that allows you to look at that. So you can browse the files. So I'm going to go browse to the network. I'm going to go into the QDG folder, and I see the backup1.qdff file. Now, when I open it here, it's going to give me in a very logical layout of how the original files were backed up. Um, so I can go in here and I can look, I can go into the animal pics folder. So there's all the folders, um, all the different animals. So there's the pictures that I backed up. Um, so this is going to allow me to um, tick a specific box, extract the one thing. I can do it on the whole job as well. So if I go back and look here, I can do it on the main share and extract it and choose where I want to put it. Basically a bit like unzipping a compressed folder. But what we've done is we, we restore the path of everything. So if there was duplicates, this is going to remove the deduplication, if you like. It's going to put the data back with individual files back where they need to be. Um, so this is our QDedupe extract tool, um, and it works uh, when you do a backup job uh, within HBS3. Um, so that's um, 
a great way to save space. So if you do have an as with a lot of data on it that may be duplicated, it doesn't erase the duplicates. They will still be stored on the NAS. It just doesn't send them to the backup job. It really just sends a reference to the duplicate file. So it sends one copy of the actual file and then every other reference to it just reference backs, uh, backs to that original copy that was sent. So you can really shrink your data um, if you have a lot of duplicate data um, on your NAS. Um, really great way to save bandwidth, um, especially on the remote backups, as I've said. Um, but again, this is the uh, QDG um, Extract tool, completely free. It's available for lots of different platforms. Um, so um, I'm just showing it here on a Mac. Um, but this is uh, this is a great way to be able to look into the data, even if you don't have a QNAP next to you to look into the data. Maybe you backed up to something else that wasn't a QNAP. Um, this is going to allow you to uh, to view uh, view that data from the um, uh, sort of proprietary format that we've got. We give you this tool to to look into it. Um, if anybody has any questions or comments, do leave them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.